Very pleased, very, very pleased. I didn't think it was going to happen because everyone was out to thwart it. Um, but they, they persevered and we got there in the end. So yeah, I am pleased. <laughs> I think it's the worst thing this country has ever done. It's been, it's been lied to, uh, to to get the population to think that this would be a good thing. It is going to be the most appalling decision this country has ever made. To and especially for the young who won't have the option of going to travel and live and work in in Europe. And for what? For what? What are we going to gain? Absolutely nothing. Personally, I'm quite relieved. Uh, you know, it's been going on for so so long now that the time is now, I think, right that we move on and uh, go f go from there. So, you know, there's been a lot of ups and downs over the last four and a half years, and now at least we've got it all, hopefully, ready to rock and roll. Oven ready, as the old prime minister would say. It's over, you know, four and a half years of this divorce saga, it's finally over and I think we should all feel excited. It's a shame because obviously, you know, we left and the uh, UK left EU after so many years, I think 45 or 47 years. Uh, but uh, you can't revert the time back and let's uh, look uh, with hope to future, you know. And I think it's always like, you know, with the new year, but it's, it's a different New Year's as well after COVID. And with the COVID as well, hopefully that the new year will be uh, better as well, you know, for all of us. <laughs>